if a very simple and then very simple HTML page and then it's so on so forth it doesn't work and it, it, it is worth what I mean and how it's worth and now we will start the developments the complete developments uh, from the from the very sketch level to the to the end levels and let's have a start our developments for the for the for these cases then I will close the all projects from here that's I think I don't need it anything anymore to explain you you got the ideas what I mean so so let's have a close it and we can close the everything then close it this projects and then even though this this is also we need it to, to build it just you know, the showing you the previous screen card that you can follow that thing together and then you get the, the really clear idea of what I mean what how it works so then the close it everything that's I need don't need it at the moment but I need uh, this is the leaflet base that's the next skin cast coming soon we can close this in also this one so let's let's have a have a close look and then let's have a finish the presentation part so this is already explained how the, our last previous skin cast that I explained it a little bit here the skin cast number 35 and it, it was the uh, node uh, node.js angular and type skip based open layers uh, map libraries and geo server as a front end technology that's I already show you in the my 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 channels the, this is the the last uh, the the Node.js, Angular, TypeScript, and leaflet base, GeoServer, web mapping, programming, and screencast. You can go this screencast number two, that is a, a screencast number 2.1 up to 2.10 is available, but I am continuing the further development. You can follow the, the this screencast also when you are in the your company or your requirement, like the, use the leaflet, JavaScript based frameworks. Uh, JavaScript web libraries, then you can go with the leaflet also. And this is one of the seven number that I already said to you. And um, the the open layer based uh, web GIS programming or the thing, and then this is Geo Server because all the, this is the the applications, all the enterprise level applications. There is a specific UI development frameworks, Angular, TypeScripts, and then in down level all the JavaScript, everything in JavaScript to come. JavaScript to call it to build the maps and then the, all the event functionalities and even though in the call the geo servers because the Angular TypeScript has a really really efficient uh, proxy configuration issues in there uh, with that one so we can make really different calls of services from any part of the world and maybe service Amazon services or Yahoo map services or Google map services or other 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 uh, services web services or whatever it is you can call it you can build very simply build it your web pages <coughs> web application this is the one of the application that i said and the geo server configuration i i already explained a little bit more on this one but a lot of you are asking me how the they configure the geo server uh, with the different uh, geo spatial databases like port gis database or oracle spatial or other other mysql spatial databases and I didn't have enough time to do that one, but I, I try my best to come up uh, some time to find in some time to, to make such a such a detailed discussion. How how can you integrate the your GIS uh, the spatial data set into the import GIS database, and how can you configure or how can you publish your 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 WMS or WFS or your geo service geo server services and integrate the services into the into the your content development frameworks that's that's i will try to try to do that one in the next skin cast but you can follow that so this is the one of the the example that i'm trying to to to, to start today the developments one by one developments so this is the final screen card that i already show you the all the possibilities graphs and the pop-ups and the base, different different type of base maps from the google base map and open street maps and then all the overlays layers and then you have the printing functionalities that's that i will show you just follow the the screencast so this is one of the example like you can build your dynamically build your vectors and you can do also the some calculations the measurements calculations to to measure the how many how many cover area buffer area and then also on so forth but this is not the very specific focus but 
I, I only just give it to you the all the use cases that you can think but this is the one of the specific projects that's like the GSM uh, GSM the mobile communication the BTS towers and stations how it is located how they, they serve the services in the in the in the in the surrounding areas that the one the project maybe you have a different different project issues like uh, the companies the banks or insurance provider they will try to give it to to see to see you where their service is located where their customer is located and these things you need to be yourself to, to build this one you can use these use cases uh, for your 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 requirement your specification that was the idea to give it to you how can you find out the use cases how can you integrate those use cases uh, into you develop you know your use cases to fit the, the my development and then you can come up this the solutions the best solution that's my name so this is the one of the next king cast is now in 49s i will come i will try my best as soon as possible to come up the to to finish up the, the this development on this screen cast you can go this way so this is the one of the example that i will save you so i will i, I try to thank you now and then and um, then subscribe that uh, the uh, my channels as like ub subgroup and share and write down your comments and that's that's help us to, to make really better products or to share our ideas or your ideas with us and then we can we can do our best solutions so you can do you you can find your best solution what is the possibilities and then and then now I can say just just follow the channels and I will start the, the development how can you start and how can you think about how the communication the configurations project structure that's things I need to be continue with you let's have a start to the development so if you look the these projects like this project that we are here these projects uh, and then and it is very very simple simple development as simple very simple plain html css and javascript libraries the integration and this is how i put it in my all the source code in here so you see the c and then webgs webgs and and then we have the yeah, with with GIS project leaflet and Google Maps APIs. So you see the structure like we have a CSS classes, that's the necessary CSS class from the from the open layers. You see the styled of CSS and then other CSS classes here the CSS directory and here's all the image that you need to the in the open layers uh, need to the those images. You see the all the images, the scale bars and things together. But when you download the the and one of the, the images like the station image you can see these pictures also and you can when you download the open layers into the your local machines or you can do you can you can online if you're in the in the internet they can go to the online and see the down directly get the uh, open layer libraries into the your, your, your projects or you into the usdml page or in this thing html page so you need these images in here this structure the image structure and this is our the the graph libraries in i mean here the, the libraries how can you build these graph libraries uh using the different graph libraries that's functionality design that's i mean the graph libraries in here so we have the plots and then as i just some some javascript you see that everything is java to java javascript extensions and then we have some plots libraries you see the x canvas and the jquery libraries also in the in the in the, in the, the directory in the js directory and then some other libraries pies and web web fill javascript libraries and see the libraries and the plot jplot distinct javascript libraries see the, the all the jquery jplot javascript libraries you can do jquery libraries you can you can do this you can get also the some examples when you download the this library into the your local systems so here's all the libraries you can see the graph libraries but i didn't use everything but in the in the it was the requirement for the projects to integrate the all the javascript and graph libraries 